my friends, and welcome back to the bench. Quite empty. Uh, today we're going to be looking at, just a quick look, at something uh, a little unique, a little different than uh, I'm used to testing. Uh, but with my eyes not being the best, and then uh, I use different strength uh, reading glasses when I'm detailing, um, after looking into a few alternatives uh, for getting close up in details, uh, I discovered this unit. And it is a digital microscope. And uh, a lot of guys use these, I guess, for uh, soldering and whatnot on circuit boards. I says, you know what? I bet you if I put my tiny little parts under here, I can detail them. And I can see this without getting close up with the glasses and straining. And um, that's what I did. I grabbed one for testing. I've already assembled it, even though it's only about two pieces. Uh, and let me grab that for you now. Right behind me, and the good news is, it is uh, wireless. You charge it up, just like you would charge a tablet. So let's go ahead and pan this out. There you go. All right, let's turn this up, and there we are. All right, so this is a seven-inch screen. It's adjustable, and I'll get it adjusted so the light doesn't reflect on us. Uh, this was all assembled. These are your lights to light up the part. This is the microscope itself. Here's where we're going to adjust the focus. And you can actually go up and down to get even closer. Um, but uh, you want to go as further out as you can because we're not getting in that detailed. Um, I guess if you're looking for flaws in your coins and if you're doing, like I said, circuit boards, um, that's what you would do. The instructions are well done. They're not in 800 languages. It's, it's all in English, the whole thing. And you can actually capture the video on an SD card, which came with it here. It even came with the card right there. See that? 32 meg card goes right here. 32 gig, I should say. All right. Now, you can capture the images if you want to. If you, I guess if you're doing circuit board, if you're look, detailing something, you can capture it, and then you can look at it without leaving it running and actually you can actually put this into your PC too. This can be wired to your PC and it can also record video. I'm not sure why you would want to do the video but you can uh, record the video. I guess if I uh, did a video on detailing and painting I would pull that out and then put it into the PC and I think you can actually wire it right to the PC. Now it came with this remote which is mostly for as I said taking snapshots you hit it or you can do it from here and also you can uh, hit the video record button too. You switch between the two. And this is the menu. And this is to scroll between the pitches once you've taken shots. But that's beyond what I'm going to use it for. I just want to look at it while I'm working and detailing. So let's go ahead and power it up. And here's how you power it up. You just hold down the power button. And there you go. Now I'm sorry if you're getting a little flicker. Let me put off this light. Hold on, let me see. Uh, it didn't really do much, did it? Anyway. All right, we will go ahead. I'll take one of these uh, still on the runner. It was a Warhammer figure. And check this out. Look at that. I know we're getting the wave. You know, I do apologize for that. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it. All right, let's get a little closer. Check that out. Now, if you want to detail it, let me get one of my, what is this? This is my extra fine Tamiya brush. And uh, let's open this up. I'm grabbing this because it's my one of my finest brushes. Look at that. And I guess if you mount this down or if you tape it, I can show you what I'm doing here. Hold on. That's it. So when you're, a, you're painting, you can actually see on the screen, can you see the brush? Look at this. And you've got to go in really fine details if you want to. If you're struggling, look at that. And then you adjust it here. For some reason, we got it perfect the first time. And if the lighting is off, you take these and you light them up. Now let me, uh, i got to plug in the lights back in again. So give me one second, guys. Let me plug the lights in. All right, there we go. I got the lights working. You actually had to put the remote in to get the lights to go on. Here they are. You can see them. Look at the glow right there. 
Yeah. And then you can get these. Let's go back on this chest piece here. All right. And you can, look at that. You can really light it up with these. They aim any way you want them. All right. Let's go back in. And there you go. Well, now you can go in. You're going to paint. Look at that. And you're working. Now you can go even smaller with these figures. Now these little guys, remember these? And the old, the real old, uh, let me get them on my tweezers here. Let's get my Tamiya tweezers here. There we go. Look at that. So they came from, let me show you the kit. The Sword Impulse. This is an old Master Grade. And it comes with, I think, three. Three of these little figures. Look at the pilot. Look how tiny. So you go ahead, and we're going to put that in the tweezer here. And you can mount it anywhere you want on the bottom. Now here's my thing. Look at this. Look at that. Now I found a piece, oops, I found a piece of black cardboard. Helps a little bit with reflecting. I'm going to go back in with the figure. Look at that. How up close is that? Now you get your brush. If you're going to do a little panel lining or whatever else you're doing, you're good to go. And uh, really a unique, uh, really a, a unique uh, item for your bench. I mean, this is a really cool piece of equipment, um, particularly for me with my eyes are gone. I mean, it's tough right now. I'm looking through the camera into this, but uh, up close right here. Let me see if I can put the light out. Does it make a difference? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, check that out. Let's uh, see if we can adjust it any further. You can really fine tune it. You can go up and down also here. And get closer to the unit or further away. Just have to do this, like I said, behind the camera. Okay, so we're further away now. So let's go ahead and adjust it. Look at that. Fantastic. Let's grab the other one. So you can see different ones. There we go. Is that the pilot? Yep. There we go. Now these are the shoes and the feet. Look at that. We go down here with our brush. Take care of that without straining. It's wireless, so you can move it anywhere on the, on the bench. The battery seems to last a long time. Here's the indicator. It's like a tablet, so it should last hours. And uh, here is the uh, Warhammer figure. I assembled him. We primed him. Let's see what he looks like under here. Look at the details now you can get on that gun. All right, hold on. It's a bigger piece. we got to adjust it a little better than that. There we go. Look at that. Look at that piece right there. There we go. See, we can paint it, get it done. Now, we'll, look at this. Look how tiny that actually is, that bit I just showed you. It is right here on this gun barrel. Hold on. Right there. That was the piece I just had magnified. If you want to get this you know, the clip, look. So we're going to go back in just to show you the difference. Look at that. Is that piece on the clip right there. That little tiny piece is right here. So yeah, check that out. I thought this was unique. Look, we'll paint the back. Look at that. And that is a tiny little vent up here. So I think this is a pretty unique... Let's pan this out. A great little item for the bench. Uh, it is not very expensive. I don't even know if this was 80 bucks. This might have been 80 bucks with prime shipping. Um... Yeah, uh, it's pretty unique. I'll show you the back here. Now, you can lock it in here, and then you adjust it up and down. It's really, really made really well. It's all aluminum right here. This is all aluminum. The lighting is good. The light under here and the microphone. Here's your two lights here. I don't want to blind you guys. Um, it came with the SD card for if you want to put it on your PC. Uh, how about, let's see how we can blow up these words. Let's see. I'm just curious. Look at that. Checking out the fine print here. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I, like I said, this is going to be a quick video. Uh, I, I was really impressed with this. Now, to save my eyes and uh, using all different different magnifications on my uh, reading glasses. And now I can just look at this screen without any glasses. This is also, let me show you guys, this is also adjustable this way. Yeah. If you want to get it close to you and bend down while you're working straight down like you're looking at the piece, you can do that too if you want. It feels more natural that way. But uh, hold on to hold it. 
down to shut her down. There it is. All right. This is the Tomlov Digital Microscope TM DM9. I will put a link below to where I got it. As I said, I'm not quite sure where this is made. Tomlov sounds like uh, Russian, but boy, I got to tell you, it's all in English. I, I don't see any other languages or Chinese or anything. It, it's uh, it's all the whole thing's in English, which is uh, a rarity nowadays. So yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you. I thought this was a unique item, and I thought some of you guys out there would like to see it, particularly miniature painters, or getting those fine details in these little tiny figures on uh, the old Gundam kits. Even panel lining in certain spots, too, starts to get to you after a while. And uh, But it really would come in handy with these miniatures for uh, detailing. Just get yourself a tiny, tiny brush. Um, yeah, that is it, guys. That is the video today. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. It means a lot. And... Uh, if you can, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, hit the notification button. I have a lot of videos coming up. I got another waterfall spray booth coming up next week. Uh, it's a beauty. And um, that's going to be a special video also. And I also have a... Oh, <coughs> grabbing these. From these, I said at the uh, Salvation Army store. These two old testers airbrushes. And, uh, I mean, they're really cheap, generic. Uh, look at these plastic airbrushes. But you know what? I'm going to try them. They're old. And uh, I guess if you can see them in a yard sale or something, we'll know if they're worth grabbing. So I will be testing both of those in the same video. Uh, and that's coming up soon, too. And uh, I also might have an announcement on some more paints added to my lineup. And, um, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll put a link at top for my uh, Patreon channel. It's going very well. I'm answering a lot of your questions directly. It's kind of a source directly to me. If you want to ask me a question, I'll answer you directly uh, anytime. And then uh, if it requires a test, like you want to see a certain color painted over a certain primer or whatnot, I'll do that for you on video and post it. So that's in my Patreon, too. That's uh, just below there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your weekend. God bless all of you. You guys are the best. We'll see you in the next video.